Hi guys, this is Casey, Janiqua, Alicia, and Andrea. We did our project over cognitive development middle childhood, and we're going to discuss, discuss memory. So middle childhood is the age range from 6 to 12 years old. Memory. So what is memory? According to our text, Child Development in a Topical World, memory is defined as, quote, the process by which information is initially recorded, stored, and received, end quote. The information processing approach. In order to, for information to be stored for future use, a memory must undergo the information processing approach. Cognitive abilities depend on what exposure the child has. Information processing approaches represent the dominant, most comprehensive, and ultimately the most accurate explanation of how children develop cognitively. The information processing approach is broken up into three categories, encoding, storage, and retrieval. Encoding is where the individual records information in a form of usable memory. For encoding, we can use the image of a computer keyboard because the keyboard initially records information when it's being used and sends a memory to the next function. The second process that memory undergoes is called storage. Storage is the process where the memory is kept until called upon. Even though information is encoded, there is no guarantee that the memory will be able to be used in the future. Storage can be represented by a hard drive or a flash drive of a computer. This is where information is found and can be put into use. Finally, the last process is called retrieval, and this is where the memory is lo stored, located, and brought into awareness and is put into use. Our last example of this can be the monitor of the computer or the rest of the software. In order for children to retain information, memory strategies such as rehearsal and organizations are proved to be efficient. Sensory memory is the initial momentary stage of information that lasts only an instant, records an exact replica of the stimulus. An example would be when someone sees an object briefly before it disappears. Short-term memory, also known as working memory information, is stored for 15 to 25 seconds according to its meaning. An example would be when someone is given a phone number and is forced to memorize it because there is no other way to write it down. Long-term memory is the information that is stored relatively permanently, although it may be difficult to retrieve. An example of this would be motor skills and procedural skills, such as riding a bike. Monomics and memory strategies are formal strategies for organizing material in ways that make it more likely to be remembered, such as getting organized, paying attention, visualization, rehearsal. An example of these would be um, Schoolhouse Rock, Flashcards, and PEMDAS. Explicit memory. According to Jewel and Cabeza, explicit memory refers to the conscious retrieval of past information or experiences, whereas implicit memory refers to the unintentional or non-conscious form of retrieval. You can intentionally think of certain memories on demand. Explicit memory becomes stronger as the hippocampus develops. This part of the brain matures around five to six years old. Implicit memory. Implicit memory are the thoughts and information that are recalled when a certain stimulus begin bring them to mind. For example, you smell a certain perfume that reminds you of the first time when you went to the beach when you were very young. If you hadn't smelled that perfume, you would have never thought of that memory. Concrete operational approach. Children during the late adolescence start to think more systematically. According to PJ, children from 7 to 11 years old begin to start developing a concrete operational space. This is where they start to process information more logically and they uh, begin to start 